Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cubair back again with FluidDruid.net to bring you the Cubair interface setup video. Hopefully you notice that you can hear me a lot better. I actually finally got some video editing software. Uh, previously I've been using a bunch of free stuff just to go ahead and get the videos up there. Now that I went and decided I was going to be doing this for a while and bought a program, uh, I definitely like it and probably should have done that from the beginning. But anyway... A lot of the uh, feedback that I've been getting so far is I need to loosen up a lot of my videos. So if you guys want me loose, want me having fun, you know, I got a joke for you guys. You ready for it? Alright, so what's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? Haha, <laughs> you think it's an R, but it's really the C. Huh? Somebody laughed. Leave me a comment if you laughed at that. Anyway, the other feedback I've been getting more than questions about boss encounters themselves is about the UI that I'm using, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. People want to know where they can get it, if I can uh, make my folders available for download, and I've actually done that already. I head over to Druid, uh, fluiddruid.net forums, and I will leave a link to that in the description for this video. However, there is one problem, and the problem is, is that... Uh, the save variables are not loading for LVUI for some reason. It's loading as default. So for people who really, really want the most out of what I'm using it for my UI, I'm making this video really quick just to show them uh, how to get you know LVUI to look exactly like mine set up. Uh, important thing you need to know is that I do play 1920 by um, 1080 resolution. So if you're not playing in that exact resolution, a lot of the numbers I'm going to toss at you aren't going to apply. You're going to have to figure things out for yourself. But first thing we need to do is set up our chat windows. Uh, so basically we need to set the width. We're going to go into slash EC, which I'll demonstrate right here. And then we're going to go down to chat. We'll click uh, 535 by 125. Again, this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution, and that will make your chat bars or chat windows go all the way to your player frame and your target frame uh, right here. After we do that, um, we need to uh, set up the windows themselves. Basically, what's going to happen, and let me toggle my omen really quick is we need to completely blank out this window so we're going to go in here into settings and we're going to make sure absolutely nothing displays on this window I know a lot of you are probably questioning why I have this window in the first place well the problem with LVUI is that it sets everything based off of what's there right so as I hover over everybody you'll see that my tooltip window is displaying right above that chat window if I were to simply delete the chat window the tooltip would actually display down here where recount is which doesn't sound like a big deal to a lot of people but the bigger deal is when we get into add-ons like bigwigs when we go to configure them you'll notice that the longer timer bars are right here butting up against this chat window so that when I test them uh, you'll see they display right here and of course they scroll up if I simply got rid of this chat window then by default they'd be down here and they'd be displaying a, uh, behind recount all your recount data would cover and what's going to be happening in the fight you can if you decide to uh, move it every time you log in I mean that's totally up to you the main problem with that is is that you're gonna have to do it every time you log in every time you go to log off it's going to reset itself to default settings and so basically you just leave that blank window there it doesn't really do anything and it makes your life a whole hell of a lot easier so again toggle omen and basically here you just want to click these this gear right here you can go to lock window and then you can really just set your recount up uh, behind or in front of that chat frame and it'll get everything done there again the same with omen uh, the command for that is omen config you'll go again uh, that didn't load omen. Alright, down here to omen and to lock omen and you'll be able to move it there. Now with uh, EC, of course self UI, you'll notice the add-on skins. Omen and recount as well as uh, big wigs and all the other add-ons that you see right here. You're going to come preset to look just like everything else on the UI. LV UI does a good job of that. And so basically to get the nice orange glow, because you'll notice when you first load LVUI that it's really nasty gray, we're going to click the main LVUI page and we're going to go here to class colored theme. Since we're druids, of course, that's going to be orange. If for some reason orange is not your color, you just disclick that and you'll actually go down here into media and then you can preset everything uh, just the way that you want. And so next time you reload, it'll come up all prettier however you set it to be. 
other than that that's really the only thing that I did the LVI um, just for kinda you know niceness I guess uh, HB slash HB is going to be how you set your key bindings and so that's real nice and then you just mouse over and you you know you click the bind as you get over the button and slash move and then ELE is going to be how you set up your cast bar by default the player one will be down here and of course the target one will be down here I don't really look that far down when I'm fighting uh, I need them within my eye range so I had to move them you know to where I'd be able to see and then of course slash move LA again will toggle that every time you change something LVI it's gonna ask you to reload uh, since I didn't change anything I'm just gonna cancel that another huge huge thing I get from people is uh, druid focus I'm pretty sure save variables are working if you simply want to copy my druid focus out of there however uh, for people that don't want to bother downloading or anything or copying and pasting I totally understand I'll go very very quickly on how to set that up that's DF options and basically uh, Drew Focus is a horrible add-on. Look at all this useless crap that they try to load into your system. Uh, right now you'll see that my Drew Focus takes up 2.4 megabytes and that's with everything turned off. So we're going to go into visibility. Make sure definitely cat form is checked and you can turn everything else off. Uh, for my setup again, if you're trying to copy what I'm doing exactly, you're going to go into power bar. You're going to set 296 for the width and then 34 for the height. And then after that, you're going to turn everything off. You'll see here, nothing's enabled all the way down until we get back up here into warning icons. Just leave that enabled, and then you want to set the width to 100 and the height to 100. And that's going to give a nice, very noticeable. This is, of course, when you're not behind your target and you press the shred button. This is just when you're not in range of your target for the attack that you're trying to do. And this is when you gain aggro. So that's that's pretty nice to have. I do keep that on. I start turning everything off again until we get to icons. Icons you need to set up as well. I have it uh, with 60, high 60. It's going to give it this exact look and feel right here. And of course, the great thing about these icons is they work just like bars. Um, let's say rip has 20 seconds. It'll be more over here. If your rake ends up at 4 seconds, it'll end up over here. And they'll move uh, back and forth as their timers are diminishing. So you just scroll left to right really quick, and you know what's next in your priority system. Uh, everything cooldown pulse is enabled. Uh, definitely that is like when I hit Tiger's Fury, and then Tiger's Fury comes back off cooldown. It'll actually pulse the icon right here. It also displays debuffs over here on this side, and that displays all debuffs. You know, if you get Lightning Rod, boom, you're going to get the Lightning Rod debuff over here. You get fixated, you'll get fixated, everything shows up nice, so it's real noticeable when uh, when you need to move or what you got to do for the fight based on the debuff you get. Other than that, everything again is turned off until we get to combo points. Once we get there, uh, width is set to 41, height to 32. Again, if you're really trying to copy my setup, and I use the uh, yellow square theme. So that's that. Other than that, uh, you'll enter the configuration mode. This is, of course, uh, Omen of Clarity um, procs. We'll cause that to spark. Again, you know, Tiger's Fury, Berserk, everything that comes off cooldown will show up here. All the debuffs you receive will show up over here, as well as the, the shred warnings, all that kind of stuff also show up in the same uh, frame. These are also icons that they're tied to this. Uh, Tiger's Fury with the timer, Berserk with the timer, and your Stampede proc again with the timer. So everything's separate. Uh, you can move one thing without moving everything. The icon bar is set within the uh, energy bar, and there are two separate things, as you can see as I move there. And I'm going to be really, really anal about trying to get that back in the right spot. Man, I shouldn't have touched that. I'll mess with it later. But that's my UI in a nutshell. Uh, of course, leave configuration mode. Uh, that's not right. I'll I'll worry about it. But that's that's my UI. Uh, that's how I set it up. If you got any questions, please direct them to the add-on and UI forums under fluidruid.net. Uh, I'll definitely be checking the YouTube um, channel. However, the best way to ask me anything is definitely fluidruid.net. I check that far more than I check anything else. Uh, Q Bear uh, here, and I'll catch you on the next encounter video. All right, take care.